Questions for Coach Dumpy? Was that situation where you pretty much figured Pettis was going to take the last shot and just tell the guys man up? And yeah, up pretty legs? much. And uh, Khalif got matched to him, and Khalif certainly wanted the credit for contesting his shot. It would have been poetic justice, to be honest with you, the way Earl played. If that ball had gone in, we just got lucky at the end there. Obviously, that stretch where we go up 10 late in the game and we have, uh, we should be able to manage the game better than we did. We had a couple of uh, interesting plays, calls, what have you, and uh, we, didn't, we didn't keep our poise like we needed to. So, uh, to come out of here with a win, given all those circumstances, we'll take it, but know that we got very fortunate. What was that sequence like? Because you guys very rarely have a technical call on you and then it changes the flow of the game. And yeah. you try to stop the guys down. You know, you just say, that, you know, you're going to get calls that, that you may disagree with, and, uh, we, and probably shouldn't say this, but I will. I think the carry is, uh, it's its a bad call. its, it's It has no point in the game. It's how kids play the game today. You don't need to call it because it, my carry is not your carry is not your carry. So just leave it alone. But that's how the, the game has evolved. You know? When I was a kid playing a game, I wasn't good enough to do that. And uh, so, you know, learn how the game is played and, and, and kind of stay away from that. that. That would be my only complaint. The other parts are, are going to happen, but just the carry, I'd like to get rid of it. Did you feel the carry was not advantageous? And so then it should. Well, have been one, no, it's never advantageous. It's how kids well, play the game. It, no, that's that your opinion. Forward. That's not mine. They, uh, my opinion is, it, it's the way the game has evolved. Okay. Leave it alone. I, I don't really want to talk about it anymore. But that's that, that would be what I would say. Coach, are you surprised? You led at halftime and shot seventy-two percent in the second half. Given those numbers, you, why did this game go to overtime? Well. Uh, I would like to show you the f film, Jolly, and we'll walk through it. There was a technical, uh, a three after the technical. Uh, there was two carries. There was uh, an offensive foul on a guy who had already beaten his man. Uh, we just didn't manage the game. And it's our fault, my fault. I'll take the, uh, the, the rap for it. It's just one of those things that happens. And we didn't manage the last three minutes of the game like we normally do and, and like we should have. And I'll, I'll take the blame. That says Fran Wyatt in the, that one stretch there. Yeah, he was spectacular. He was unbelievable. Was spectacular. In a, in a situation where everything's and coming apart. His last jumper was at, at the top of the key, might have been 30 feet. I mean, it was a huge jump shot. I think it put us up seven, I believe. And, uh, and he just, he's a great player. He's a great offensive player, and I'm, I'm proud of his defensive effort on Pettis what, as well. Yeah. What's the personal makeup of him that allows him to do that kind of thing? I think he's just one of those kids that has it in his DNA. He's a fearless kind of kid. He wants the opportunity and took advantage of it. Man, is it just the nature of his team that the great thing about it is, you know, one guy might have an off night or, you know, but somebody else is one to get you. It's, you know, Mike carried you a little bit early. He did. did a then, really good job. You know, Ramon didn't seem like he was quite in his game, but then Khalif comes on. It's, just, it's almost like somebody's going to get a dumb for you. Well, let me say this about Ramon, too, if I could. Now, he has his hiccups at the end of the game, and then they go up three in overtime, and then he has the guts to make a three, comes down and makes the next shot, and, uh, and gets us a lead. And uh, He's that kind of kid, and I'm very, very proud of him. I'm, I'm disappointed that he got the technical foul he shouldn't have. Uh, but, and, and in many ways, you know, you'll see coaches do it, and I'm, I'm guilty of it, too, taking a kid out right away. I just, I know Ramon. I know that he is, he was... Uh, very sorry that it happened to him and to his teammates, number one, and, and I thought he, he rescued us uh, in the overtime. Fran, do you, do you think there was any jitters at first because you guys are back in the rankings, the guys being like, well, let's not get in the rankings and all of a sudden then, you know, lose here? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think so. I think uh, in all of my statements here, the one thing I've neglected to say is I think LaSalle's really a, a very good basketball team. Uh, we had a really tough time with them at our place. For us to have a sizable, a decent lead at the end of the game, I was surprised at and, and uh, happy about. But our biggest disappointment as a team is we didn't manage the, the last three or so minutes left in the game. But I think LaSalle's really good and they're going to make some noise in the Atlanta 10 tournament. Craig Mike went for 18, 12, and 6, 35 minutes, considering he's still kind of working his way back from the injury. He said he's still a work in progress. What's your assessment of what he is just after the injury? Yeah, I thought this was his best game. I thought he did some really good things, finished some plays. Uh, the only disappointing thing for me was his turnover along the baseline there where he, he gave it up. But uh, Mike's going to do that. And, and uh, <coughs> he blocks some shots. He 
change, he, if he blocked six, he probably changed another four or five. And uh, I thought he did very, very well. Very proud of him. Khalif, at the end of regulation, he said he just wasn't aware of the five seconds. He kind of just kept dribbling it. I know you yeah. called a timeout. I'm pretty sure you didn't <laughs> draw up that. No, it, we had uh, we had a thought that Ramon would be matched to a big guy, and maybe we could get it right back to Ramon and go let him go make a play. Uh, and Khalif, we talked about 5.6 probably a, a number of times, and uh, he just zoned out on it, and that's what happens to young guys. And uh, but I can go back to I, I should have called a better set and uh, bailed us out a little bit there, I did, and I did not. Any more questions? Coach, it was an especially physical game. I mean, both teams had completely even turnover to assist ratios. Can you talk about just how physical it was and, and your team's effort on defense? Yeah, I thought our defense was okay. I, I, I didn't think we made adjustments on Pettis like we needed to. Uh, he drove it hard to his right uh, eight to ten times, and we should have realized that and taken that drive away from him, and, and we did. Um, also, But he was great. Earl was absolutely great. He, he deserves a lot of credit for being the kind of kid that he is, and I know he's a great guy. And, uh, but we didn't play our best defensive game. We just escaped here. That's all that was. And, uh, and yet, that being said, I'm proud of where we were with three or four minutes left. We just didn't manage it at the end. How do you feel about games in these cracker boxes, Franny? Uh, do you have an affinity or do you hate them or, or what? Uh, I love competition, Dave. And uh, this is where we play. And I, uh, this is my university. I went to school here. Very proud of it and what it has done. It helped me immeasurably. I still have some great, great friends here, and so this is where we play. It was crazy atmosphere. I thought the LaSalle students were great. They were into it, and uh, I thought they propelled their team to get it to overtime, and uh, that's the way it is. It's something you don't have in very big conferences, <coughs> if you know what I mean. Well, it's, it's kind, it, of, kind of nice. You know, it's it's kind of what, it's what uh, college basketball is all about. And, and to be honest with you, you love the competition. Play anywhere they tell you. How many times when you were a kid you went to a playground that wasn't, uh, you know, the rims weren't quite good enough and the, there was no nets on it? Go play. And that's, uh, it was great. I thought the atmosphere was great. I was proud of uh, both teams, to be honest with you. Anything else?